okay guys uh, in this simple tutorial we will learn how to use the slider within the MATLAB GUI GUI simply means graphic user or graphical user interface and DE word is for development environment so write GUI DE guide and press enter then you can see create new GUI so press on OK. Okay, now you can see some environment that is GUI environment here and on on the left side of this environment you can see a lot of controls and here push button is and uh, radio buttons are also there but you should have to click on the slider then you can you can see this slider here okay now as we are going to use it so also click on this edit text and in edit text you can use or you can display any sort of uh, text or any sort of integer or, or data. okay so also uh, changes background color that is black and foreground color that is yellow okay and uh, for font size means that how much uh, bigger you want the integers to be so press on 30 so also on bold okay so okay 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 then uh, do one thing that uh, press this one button and yes and here we will slide run just go one zero one okay now you can see that we can move the slider but nothing is going to be displayed on the edit box so we should have to do some sort of programming so here you can see the what's called as uh, the code uh, so again come to the slider 01.fit file and press uh, and click on it go to uh, view call wigs and then go to the call wig here uh, whenever the slider will be dragged or clicked the control will come within the function or callback function within the callback function of the slider one so here uh, when like a slider will be moved a bit so what it will do it will get some data like cat sorry cat handles dot sorry handles dot slider one comma video so what it will do actually handles dot slider one comma value handles is actually a, you can say that it is a com combo of some sort of data types that is the handles and what it will do it will see the slider one that if somebody used to drag it or increment it or decrement it it will get the value and then get function will take that value and will store it in the data variable then after the value is gone to the data you can set set means get is get means in order to take and send me set means in order to give so here set handles dot edit one comma string okay string comma data so maybe this data yeah it, it is actually not in the form of string so you can do one more thing that is data one is equal to uh, num2 string num2 str of data 
what this will do it will convert number to string that is whatsoever the data within the data variable is it will be converted into the string that is number two string and then it will be stored inside the data one so data one is now containing some sort of string data so here data one must have to be uh, right so now press uh, ok and here you can see that we are able to print the what's called is the yeah, number like uh, its position value so hope you got the concept thanks for watching